Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, today's video we're talking about the new podium robbery. Yes, I'm giving you guys a breakdown, a guide, tutorial, walkthrough, a hundred percent solo. All of the planning work and tasks completed, plus the optional. And yes, we got all the bonuses knocked out as well. And we'll have a little compilation of what those are at the end. So, for those that don't know, the Trafade Thrax, this is the vehicle to trigger the new podium robbery. 405000 for the max sell value and 324000 for the salvage. And first things first, you got to pay for it. It's twenty grand, right? And then we got to also knock out the scope out mission, which is uh, real simple. We have to head over to the Diamond Casino, and we're going to take a few pictures, take some photos, right, and get that knocked out. So with this one, a lot of people are having a good time. A lot of people enjoy uh, this particular robbery. I find it funny. I think Rockstar is kind of trolling us a little bit here, to be honest. Um, <laughs> there's some reused content, right? You'll see if, if you've done the casino heist and you've explored the alternative um, – you know, entry methods and stuff like that, you'll notice a few familiar things over here. Okay, so uh, while it is good content, I don't really see why everyone's all freaking out. Like, oh, it's so great, it's awesome. It's uh, it's okay, it's all right, you know, and it's made even worse because it's a uh, 168-hour cooldown, a whole week, right? Anyways, let me uh, try and avoid the rants. Take the photos where you saw me take the photos, the back entrance, the service entrance down there, and then we also have to go inside the casino and take a photo of the podium vehicle location uh, because this is where you know the, the vehicles are hidden beneath this particular location right here into the basement and we'll talk about you'll see that more during this particular robbery all right so we got that down and let's go ahead and return back to the salvage yard and find out what we got next all right so load up in the computer and for the planning work the first one up is the LSDS disguises that's right it's going to be the Los Santos Department of Sanitation. We're going to knock those out. Then we got the storage key card. Uh, then for the tasks, we got gas masks, the repel equipment, sabotage the casino. And, of course, the optional will be the masks and the disrupt personnel for the planning work. Now, listen, guys, do the optional work. It does count towards your uh, awards and your career progress. So make sure you just go ahead and knock out all these. And it will also help you out with the actual podium robbery. Okay. All right, first piece of the planning work is going to be the LSDS Disguises. We're going to head on over to El Burrow Heights, and it's going to get a... Uh, <laughs> this mission is a little crappy. It's going to get a little stinky in here, right? And <laughs> anyways, though, take out uh, the sewage tankers. There's three of them down there. You blow those up. There's some bad guys down there as well. So go ahead and just mop up as much as you can. Right, and once you blow up the tankers, there's gonna be some release valves that you have to open up, and you're gonna let the uh, poo poo fly. More accurately, you're gonna let it uh, flow out, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, you'll have the cops on you. Some bad guys will be showing up as well. Just take care of them. Don't worry about it if you die or anything like that. It's all good. You're gonna knock these out. You don't fail anything. And you see in the bottom right corner, you have a contamination bar. So just continue to let this stuff pour out. Get the rest of the release valves opened up and, again, let that poo-poo just flow on out like some thick, frothy syrup, right? Oh, God. I mean, I sort of, I feel like it's just, Rockstar's just trolling us, right? Getting us all nasty, smelling dirty and gross. Uh, anyways, though, we're going to wait for the LSDS van to show up. It's so stereotypical. Good Lord. Anyways, though, uh, mark out the, the drivers over here. Got a couple of them. They're going to rush you. Take care of that. Jump on into the LSDS post-op van. And yeah, the lights do work like the other uh, water post-op van. Like in online mode, the cars will get out of the way. Kind of like a cop car siren. So that's cool. Nothing new, but you know, just some fun. Right. Go ahead and deliver that. And we're good to go. On to the next one. And speaking of the next one, the planning work is going to be the storage key card. And listen, chat, I need your guys' help with this, Okay. I need your guys' help. But first, let's, let's go ahead and go over to Mirror Park. And when we're over here, we need to uh, sneak into uh, the valet's home, right? Now, when you go to Mirror Park, you have to search for the valet's car. Your, your Mark II will lock on to it, so that's how you can find it. Just fly around to where you can lock onto the car. That's the red BF. It gives you hints. There's pink flamingos in the yard, right? But just fly around till you know, your Mark II locks on or your Sparrow locks on, 
and that'll be the house right there. So go ahead and go inside here and listen. Listen. For years now, we've been marking out this valet, right? So we, we roll up in here. Uh, we have to intimidate this guy, scare the poo out of him, as much poo as we were just releasing with those release valves, right? You see the intimidation bar over here. I felt like I should, you know, maybe be a little kind and spare this guy. You know what I'm saying? I it's, Tis the season. The spirit of Christmas was in me. I get what I need to get. I go to the safe, right? I get all the info. I get the card, whatever, right? I mean, look at this guy's place. Come on. Go in here. Sort of back on out. And listen. Listen to this. When I dip up out of here, I let the guy live. I dip up out of here. I get a call from Jamal saying that this dude called the police on me. So let me know. Chad, I need your help. If you mark that dude out, do the cops still? I think the cops still get on you. But let me know. If I were to murk that dude out, did the cops even get on me? Because that's messed up. I let the dude live? Unbelievable. Anyways, though, let me know. All right. Next up, we got the optional uh, disrupt mission. We're going to head on up to Harmony. And while we're up here, we're going to have to make a little visit uh, with some friends of ours. All right. Let's go ahead and roll up into the motel room. Motel, hotel, holiday inn. Anyways, this guy's in here getting all weird. We're going to roll up in here, um, and then he's going to, you know, kind of rush out. He's got a switchblade on him. Get your shotgun or whatever weapon you want. There's a weapon right there. Just, uh, you know, put him back in his place, whatever he's doing over here. Go ahead and pick up the cell phone, which is on the coffee table or whatever this table thing is, and uh, go ahead and bounce. Once you bounce out of here, uh, we got three more lieutenants to murk out. He was one of them. He's one of the four. Just go ahead and roll up and, uh, you know, do your thing. Take care unalive any of these uh, enemy NPCs and then this will not only help out with the the finale it'll also count towards again the awards career progress and that good stuff all right so we got this knocked out and now we're on to our tasks and as you should know the tasks are represented by green duffel bags around the map first one up we're gonna go ahead and uh we need to get the repel equipment for the podium robbery so go ahead and roll up the uh, entrance to the hideout is right here in the same parking lot. These are some uh, professional heisting uh, uh, crew here. I, I think not. Okay, I think not. We all know. We all know what's up with the heist over here. All right. We know who the real wrecking crew is. Okay. Anyways, go ahead and murk these dudes out. You can shoot them to the stairwell right there. Uh, they do got some pretty powerful weapons, so be careful. You don't want to get caught up in that rapid fire burst delete kind of like little bug glitch thing that's going on right with the NPCs, which is definitely something that uh, is planned in my opinion. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and pick up the duffel bag, get the repel equipment, and let's uh, make our way out of here. A couple more baddies will pop up coming down the stairwell. Go ahead and dispatch of them accordingly as you see fit, my fellow good sir. And then we're out of here. Go ahead and return it back to the salvage yard, and we'll see what else we got going on. All right, back on the computer. Got a few more to go. We got gas masks uh, to sabotage the casino and to pick up the uh, the masks from the mask shop. All right, uh, let's go ahead and roll over here. This is the uh, we're still in the gas mask on this particular task mission right here. Gonna roll up. We're gonna go to the uh, the firehouse. As you go up in here, listen to this. This is kind of funny. These firefighters get a little mad. I'm up inside their uh, their actual uh, their station here. There's four bad guys. Right, I just turn the corner. I kind of run away and. I'm going to show some respect and just throw hands with them. But two of them bounced out. They just dipped out, man. Couldn't believe it. So instead of just, you know, murking these guys out, I show the respect. I go ten toes with them, right? I stay down. And again, it's just about respect. These guys are firefighters. They're public servants over here in Los Santos. So if they want to throw hands, I will oblige. You know what I mean? They got a couple of good licks in. But at the end of the day, I just couldn't spend no more time fooling with them. I could no longer entertain this. And I had to, you know, give them a quick little four-piece and put them down and make them go night-night. Go back over here, pick up the gas masks, and let's head on out. We're going to go back to the salvage yard. And we're going to move on to our next task. So let's go ahead and pull up the salvage yard, deliver this. Got the gas masks. All right, see what we got left over. It looks like we have to sabotage the casino. So... Well, first off, let's go ahead and, and go grab the mask. Let's just get that out of the way. Let's knock that out. Uh, go to the mask shop, find out what we're going to get. All right, that's done. Again, this counts towards your awards, so make sure you get those done. 
And then as you see right here, the casino has that little like uh, green uh, tool uh, icon and emblem. That means that you have a task in there. We have to go set a little explosive over here by the bathroom. So make your way down to the to the bathrooms and you're gonna plant a C4. This is more than just a cherry bomb. This is a full on C4 brick. We're not just blowing up the toilet. We're blowing out like a 30 foot hole in this place. A little overkill, but hey, let's just make it do what it do. All right, so we got that complete. Let's go ahead and bug on out of here. And here we go, baby, we're ready. We're on the robbery, the podium robbery, okay? Now listen, again, there are particular uh, challenges you have to complete for the bonus, and we'll go ahead and talk about that while we are completing the robbery, and then we'll verify and confirm at the end when we get our scorecard. Okay. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and head on over to the vantage point across from the casino, and this is where we're going to uh, you know, blow up that, that <laughs> cherry bomb in the, uh, in the bathroom. And we'll get that blown up, and then we will be on our way. So go ahead and detonate the bomb through the contact. And then head on over to the back side of the casino where we've gone so many times, right, uh, for the casino heist. Go ahead and pick up your repel equipment and then head on over to the side entrance, all right? Now, this is where I think Rockstars is totally trolling us, right? So we go, it, it, it does fit the mission. It is good, like, undercover, big con kind of work, but it's just funny. When we roll up in here, we got to follow the guard and uh, we got all this poo over here, right? And <laughs> Yeah. We gotta mop this up. Rockstar's got us mopping up poo. You know, it's I just it's, it's hilarious. So we have to mop this up until the guard is satisfied, and he'll walk off, and then we'll uh, kind of sneak into the elevator to make our way on down. And real quick, we'll discuss the challenges for the podium robbery. First off, you cannot die. Right, uh, you have to reach the elevator hatch undetected. You cannot be seen by the cameras. And I'm about to show you this right now. And then towards the end, we have to escape the casino in one minute. And I'll tell you how that works so you know when your timer is kicking off, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the elevator right here. Pretty simple to not be detected at this point. You're just going to wait until the guard walks out. You're good to go. And we're going to head on down to the basement. And it's pitch black down here, so you are equipped with a flashlight. Be careful not to use, uh, or if you do use your weapon flashlight, be careful you don't like toss a grenade trying to turn the light on you know that happens sometimes so be careful just use the flashlight they give you and just pay attention to the cameras uh pay attention to the cone of vision that the camera covers for the particular route that you're taking and when it's clear just make your move you can get in between locations uh just make sure that you're not again pressing up on the cone of vision so you'll take your right then a left right here go all the way down we have another right we're going to take and just according, and then based on your timing, you might have to wait a little longer. Don't worry, the minute does not start right now. The minute for the escaping the casino is not at all right now, so you're good. Take your time through here. Don't rush. Just paying attention to the cameras. We'll take this right coming up as soon as it kind of got here at an awkward time, so I just waited for it to kind of cycle and turn all the way through. Now on the way back, we're going to make our move. And you can hold the flashlight on. It's not going to trigger anything. So you're not pitch black. Work on through. Uh, go towards the camera. I kind of got mixed up. I wanted to take a left right here, but don't do that. Just keep going towards the camera. And if you got an opening, go ahead and push in. You'll take this right. Keep on going. And from this point, you're pretty much good to go. Just go straight through those doors. Go straight right here through these doors. Just, you know, There's no cameras right here. Move around this little desk right here and go in. And then, bam, it's right there to the right. The elevator hatch is right here. There we go. Bam. All right. Open this bad boy up. Get into the ladder. And this is all from the casino heist. I mean, if you do the repel uh, entry and you know, option, this is, you know, it's the same thing. So it's pretty cool. Different outfits, but still pretty fun. All right. You can either perform a short jump or a long jump. I think like the long jump probably gets you down there just a little bit quicker. But again, don't worry about the time. You can just chill. Just take your time and, and go on down and enjoy it. Enjoy the content. All right. We're moving on down. There we go. Detach the uh, grappling or the repel equipment. The uh, the cutscenes are great. Love those. It's it's fun cinematics right there. Now we're gonna have to. Uh, the action is starting right now. The timer is still good. We're don't worry about the timer. But it's gonna be a nice little uh, little shootout here. Go ahead and pop the door. Take cover. Go ahead and get your weapon of choice ready. 
And again, we did the disruption mission, so it you know shouldn't be too difficult. We just have a couple of baddies in here. You're gonna take care of a couple of enemy NPCs. A few more to the right side over here. Just double check again. Pay attention to health and armor. We don't want to die because it'll mess up the uh, challenge. All right, Merc, this guy out. There is the Thrax right there. You can see it. Okay, make sure you got your gas mask on because the poison gas is coming through here. I wish the gas masks actually worked in, like, free mode online because none of them do. Ten years and the gas masks don't work. All right, make your way over to the uh, to the security panel and hack this before you get in the car. You should be familiar with these hacks. They're easy. Uh, these little uh, nodes that move around control the laser beam. You put them on the blue dots or like the turquoise dots. They pop. Stay away from the red dots. Those are the firewalls. Don't want to pop those. And then you can uh, detach uh, whichever node that you want to work with and move to another node. It's real simple. Move them around. Just, just do exactly as you see what I'm doing right here. Just use a little angle uh, mirrors to reflect the uh, the beams. And then trying to stay away from the firewall. Rotate it. These are the easy ones. There's a few other ones that could be a pain. We all know what those are. Get that knocked out. Put that into the mirror lens. Move that around. Get this guy right here. Got plenty of time. Again, the one minute cooldown time or the one minute uh, timer is not set yet, so don't worry. All right, there we go. We got that. All right, so once we exit this screen, this blast door is going to open up, and there's some more bad guys back over there. All right, so when this opens up, go ahead and take care of business with these bad guys. There's a few of them. And there we go. There's a couple back there, but let's get you know the first few at least. I'm going to roll up and just double check, make sure we got nothing else over here. I, th I think there's one in the back I, I didn't get, maybe two. Oh, there's this guy right here. Got him. Okay, that should be good. He had like a Duggan outfit on, so one of them had that, some uh, extra gear. All right, now this is the point that you need to pay attention. Now, once we go back and we steal the Thrax, this is when the one-minute timer kicks in, all right? Shout out to Keegan. Appreciate that, bro. So once you get in the car, bam, now the one-minute counter is ticking down, okay? So we're going to dip on out, go towards the yellow uh, checkpoint, and we, we get to the first door. The second door is locked. We have to go into this office, murk out these bad guys. And there's a computer we have to jump onto and hack the code and open up this door. All right, so dispatch of these uh, unkind gentlemen right there. Jump on the computer right here. And it's a simple hack. We all know this. Got to find the numbers. Right? I used the last two. I just looked for the 5028. Find that. Now we're going to jump in, back into the car. And we're out of here. All right, jump in. And it's pretty, I mean, the, if, if you're paying attention to the timer, it's pretty close. You don't have a lot of time to uh, spare. So get in and then get out of there. All right, so we get in, dip on out, and bam. I had just over five seconds to spare. So make sure you guys are paying attention and get that hack knocked out. All right, <laughs> That's what it, that, that'll be the difference uh, with your, your, your one minute timer. And when we exit out, of course, we have to lose the cops. And the cops are positioned for you to directly just go right here to the LS River. And you can lose the cops down the canal. Or you can just get inside the tunnel right here and lose the cops right here. Whichever one floats your boat, it's good to go. Now, once we lose the cops, head on back to the salvage yard and we are done. We're going to double check our progress. Make sure we completed the bonus objectives to go towards the career progress. Find out what we got real quick. Go ahead and enter in. And what do we got? Bam, there we go. No lives lost. Check. Reach the elevator hatch undetected. Check. Escape the casino in one minute. Check. All challenges completed. Check. Got that $50,000 bonus. Got the first time bonus as well for another $50,000. So we got a nice little payday. Got the award. Love that. Very good. And then next up, we're going to head and sell the Thrax. Make sure we don't mess it up at all. $405,000 payday, and there we go, man. You know, these missions, these robberies are fun. Fair amount of work for the payout. It's just unbelievable that we have a 168-hour cooldown timer. A whole week, that's just crazy. Rockstar, you have got to check. I'm okay with the cooldown, right? Why not just make it like 48 minutes as it recycles like the auto shop or a 24-hour? 24 24-hour 24 should be max, right? Come on, man. That's ridiculous. 
But there you guys have it. This is your walkthrough, your tutorial, your breakdown, your guide. If you guys got any other you know, tips or tricks, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for the Ills and Reels content. The game, smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out, yeah.